I grew up in Sonoma County where it's pretty rural. There's a lot of open space to be loud and there's also a lot of people that are willing to take risks with their design projects. It's the perfect place for me to try out things where I can hang out with a friend and just do some crazy design project. My current project is a giant LED wall installation at Crew Tasting Room at Oxbow. It requires help from friends and my dad. My dad was a mechanic and then became a contractor. Whenever something went wrong, I was able to go to him to figure out how to fix it. That was an invaluable resource that I had at hand. Tinkering on cars, construction, fabrication. I'm still using those skills every day as a designer. Working on projects up here helped me drive and inform the projects I'm working at Specialized. I gain insights on process and develop new concepts and really just exercise my design brain. I'm a very hands-on designer at Specialized. I start with a hand model and go from there. By working in the model shop, I'm able to punch out a bunch of different concepts quickly and all of that translates into bicycle design. The Red Hook bikes were the most challenging masking project I've done on a bike. This one was 16 layers of paint with six different masks over all that, so it turned into a huge masking ordeal. So this project turned out really loud. There's all kinds of things going on. So many different colors, so many different directions. Anytime that you're working within constraints, they're gonna kind of box you in a little bit, but as long as your idea is as crazy as possible in the front end, you'll have like something that other people think is crazy at the end. Growing up in Sonoma where I had the opportunity to fix cars and to build forts in the front yard and make crazy stuff just out of pieces of metal and whatnot. So now that I'm all grown up, I'm still doing all those kinds of things, but just either in a bigger or smaller scale.